Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson with Miss Rafa. Today we're going to complete with Unit 11, Artificial Intelligence. We're going to focus on the listening and the speaking skill. So if you're ready, let's start. Listening and speaking, page 116. Question A. Listen to three young people talking about inventions. Choose the correct answers for the following questions. John, the other day, my friends and I had a discussion about the most useful invention of all time. There were many good ideas, the train, the car, and the aeroplane. They're all useful, but they were not my choices. For every day useful invention, I vote for the air conditioner. I live in Taipei, and during the summer the temperature can, can be 35 degrees Celsius or higher. It's so hot. I'm not joking when I say that without an air conditioner, people here couldn't work or study. The weather is so hot it can make you feel unwell if you don't drink enough water and get enough rest. What do you guys think is the most useful invention of all time? Tom, I don't know if I agree with you, Cindy. For me, the most useful invention of all time is surely the internet. We can now reach people and do business faster. I own a clothing store in Mexico City and there's lots of competition. I also have a website. Now, people from all over the world can buy my clothing. With emails, we can keep in touch with friends and family in Mexico and around the world. It's faster than usual mail and it's cheaper than using the phone. Suzanne, I also think that the internet is useful, but in my opinion, there is an invention that is even more important and that's electricity. Of course, this isn't a man-made invention, but without people like Benjamin Franklin and Alessandro Volta, we wouldn't have learned how to use it. And without electricity, many of the world's most important modern inventions would not work. For John, the air conditioner is the most useful because... She lives in a very hot place. Tom says that the internet helps him too. Keep in touch with family and friends. Susan thinks electricity is the most useful invention because many machines can't work without it. Who is most likely to agree that communication is the most important? Tom Question B. Answer the following questions by checking John, Tom or Susan. Charles an invention that people didn't make. Susan. Mention the trains, cars and planes. John Sales closing Tom Talk to friends about the topic John Has a website Tom Now let's move on to speaking. In pairs, 
Discuss the following questions. How has technology changed in your lifetime? What do you think has been the most important invention in the last hundred years? Are there any new gadgets that you really want to get? Why? How can countries help to create more inventors? Are there any disadvantages of using machines? Mention some of them. Now let's move on to the activity book. Page 93. Question A. In pairs, do you think that robots are important for surgery? Question B. How can robots replace surgeons in the future? Listen to the following extract, then choose the correct answer A, B or C. The human face-to-face -face element of healthcare is traditionally considered central. This is why most doctors probably spend more time going over medical records and interpreting data from tests than actually spending time with their patients. But when robots first began performing surgery, the huge advances in robotic technology enhanced a surgeon's ability to see, feel and fulfil. Autonomous surgery performed by robots instead of the surgeon is likely to increase the effectiveness and safety of surgical techniques. For example, experimental studies have already shown autonomous robots to perform higher quality operations than surgeons. In initial days, robots were mostly used for simple surgeries and medical applications in the 1980s. Robotic surgeries were performed with the presence of surgeons in operation theatre. The present day technology has been so much advanced with more enhanced capabilities to perform several complicated missions like remote surgery and micro robotic surgery. Robots used in medicine are classified into many types according to their applications and the most common are passive robots and active robots. Meanwhile, passive robots are actuated by human operator. Active robots are completely actuated where interaction between the robot and the surgeon is very minimal. Doctors have spent more time in the past in the face-to-face -face meetings with the patients because they considered the method Effective. The huge advances in robotic technology increase the surgeon's ability to see, feel, and fulfill things. In initial days, Robots were mostly used for symbol surgeries and medical applications in 1980s. Remote surgery and micro robotic surgery are Complicated operations. Active robots are completely actuated where interaction between
the robot and the surgeon is very minimal. Now let's move on to speaking. In pairs, think of some of the operations that robots could do better than a surgeon. That's everything for today. Thank you very much. See you next lesson.